Whoa. You stay out of this, Ned. Not your battle. I've lost a son. Can't stand by and do nothing. Huh? How would you feel if it were your Dave? <laughs> I don't care what any of you think. You're not going to stop me. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Even the good book says it. Our butch is dead. Luke McCann has to pay. That is justice. Right. And if the law won't give it us, we'll take it for ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hiya, Chas. No, we haven't heard out. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. To that. You've been up all night? Yeah. I've tried calling the police a few times, but they've got nothing to tell me. Well, why don't you go up to bed for a while? I'll let you know if there's any news. Cos I want to be here when he calls. If he calls. I thought he had the phone. Was it Dad? Chaz. He'll be home soon, don't you worry. I'm sorry it is so early. It was a long shot. I just thought he might be with you. Yeah? Well, that's not really my fault, is it? See ya. <sighs> I thought it might be with the family in Ireland. No luck, then. No, just Uncle Abe reminded me that he still owes them a tenner. Look, he probably didn't understand the situation. Oh, you don't know Uncle Abe. If it was his funeral, he'd have the pennies off his eyes. Um, Ruby got a text off Sean. He said there was a bit of trouble at school. Oh, don't good news, travel fast. Oh, you know how some people gossip. I'm sure it'll soon blow over. So, me and David watched a great film on telly last night with that last from Friends in it. Did you see it? I've got better things to do with my time than watch old films. Just me and David have got the same taste in films, that's all. <gasps> me and David this, me and David that. You sound like an old married couple. I don't know why you don't just admit you fancy him. Cos I don't. And it's about time you stopped trying to be smart and started cleaning. What a great idea. And you can get on with your job and all. I've got enough on my plate without you two squabbling. <sighs> Why is he still here? He's got a bit of a cold. I thought it best if he stayed at home. <sighs> Just wrap him up warm, he'll be fine. Shall I get ready? Uh, no. I'm a bit worried it might turn to flu. <sighs> I guess it's your call, so long as Dad and Carl don't mind covering for you. Actually, I've, uh, I've got quite a lot on at the moment. So send him off. Trust me. He'll survive, kids do. Am I going or not? Not. I was hoping that you might throw a sickie. you got to be joking. You do it when Angel's ill. Right, let's get something straight. You're a partner in your family firm, so you can do what you want, whereas I'm just a humble employee who could get the sack if she starts taking days off. So I suggest if you need to make arrangements for your son, you do it yourself. Uh... I was hoping I could take a bit of time out to go and search the outbuildings. What makes you think he's up there? Well, I know it's a long shot, but I found him in Seth's side the other day. Take as long as you need, sir. Thanks. Oh, they've always been such a close family. Not like mine, eh? If you're going to go on about Megan's son again... I just wish everyone would see I was only trying to help. Then do us both a favour and leave it. Right, well, I've got meetings. I'll see you both later. I suppose you agree. He's only doing it for my own good. No. I've been trying to get him to drop the idea, actually. He's not listening to me, either. <laughs> I heard the police were looking for him. Who told you that? Bob, when I went to get the coffees this morning. And he heard it from customers. Right, well, he is wrong. Look, Grandad's really ill again. Yeah, he's also a mate, so if there's anything I can do to help, I will. Yeah, well, that's why I've come, actually. I just thought if any of you lot saw his van on your travels, you could give us a call and maybe get him to come back with you. We'll do our best, but... Well, if he doesn't want to come, there's not much we can do. 
Well, I'll certainly keep an eye out for him. Yeah, thanks. See you later. I'll need the docket for the one. Oh, I printed it off earlier. Oh. Something wrong? Elliot, <laughs> look what he's done. He's a good little artist, isn't he? <laughs> I cannot work under these conditions, Mr James. This is supposed to be an office, not a crash. Can't Nicola look after him? Already turned me down. But she's always been a daddy's girl at heart. You could talk around. <laughs> I wouldn't bet on it. No, but I mean, you could persuade her. A UN peacekeeping force couldn't talk Nicola around if she's made up her mind. The answer is no. Edna! Absolutely not. I don't do childminding. I'm only asking you to drop him off at home farm. I'll pay for a taxi. It's a long walk. I'll pay for overtime. Oh, enough! As long as you realise that this is the first and the last time it does not set a precedent. Elliot! Here we are, two coffees. Oh, uh, my treat. Looks like you're having a rotten morning. Yeah, well, customer lost a contact lens, so I spent half an hour on my hands and knees looking for it. Okay. Then she realised they were in her handbag. Oh, and nothing to look forward to but watching telly with Alicia. Told you, you ought to get out more. Yeah, no, Nickel's busy all week, so... Well, I'm not. We could go into Hotland tomorrow night and see something that won't make ten years back. OK. You mean you'll come? Yeah, well, best offer I've had all day. I hear you've been dishing the dirt on my granddad. Well, I was just repeating what I've heard. Well, you heard wrong. He's got cancer again. Only this time it's terminal. Oh, that's awful. So he's obviously gone off trying to come to terms with it. And if he hears you lot have been bad-mouthing him, he's not going to come back, is he? Look, Debbie, I'm really sorry. I've always gotten really well with Zach. If there's anything that I can do, all you've got to do is ask. Bill! It's time to go home. Bill! We've got to go home soon. It's safe up here. Bad people about you. Oh. Oh. Hey, what? <laughs> it's all going wrong. Oh. I don't know what to do. What's happening to me? Oh. You're having second thoughts? 20 years too late for that. I can't understand how you feel. More than Declan can. Well, I think he thought you'd be pleased he cared. You're not even curious? Looking at him makes me realise that I made a mistake all those years ago. Well, we've all made a few of those. I, mean, I married Andy Sugden. Wow. <laughs> You're both so different. Well, we met at school. Everyone told us that we were too young, of course, but that just made us even more determined. We all hate being given good advice. You might want to mention that to my dear brother. <laughs> Tell him it's over. Cheers, love. What do I owe you? All on the invoice. Hey, you wouldn't mind asking one of your lads to have a scout round your barns, would you? What for? Well, it's like you're still missing. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, of course, but I'm sure they would have noticed if anyone was there. Cheers. OK. We could grab a bag of chips for the film. Wow, you really not show a bloke a good time. Maybe we could make it a little threesome, eh? We won't want to drag you away from the telly. I quite fancy a night out myself. 
Mind you, I'd rather try that new tie than stuff my face full of greasy chips. <laughs> Don't matter what you want, you ain't got a babysitter. Amy owes me. Now we go sort them. Yeah. Oh, well, you look like you've had a good time. Oh, it was brilliant, Mum. And the rest of there might be a few more gigs like that on offer. Oh. Got time for a drink? Yeah, of course. What are you doing here? Oh, a few problems at the office, sir. Mr James hoped that you could look after him for a couple of hours. Absolutely not. I've already told Mr James that I've got too much work to do. Well, so have I, and I am not a nanny. Not my problem. Uh, have you got my papers? Mm-hmm. All ready for your signature. Don't worry, Edna was just going. Not until we sort out what to do with Elliot. I've told you, we're busy, so you'll just have to take him back. Shall we go over those spreadsheets? Mm -hmm. I've brought a whole bag of toys and games. He can amuse himself. Really? Well, if he's that good at it, why is Jimmy trying to palm him off on me? I'm sorry, Elliot. It seems nobody wants you. Oh, uh, hang on. I'm sure you can manage a couple of hours. No, th no, I can't. How hard can it be? You won't regret this. I already am. You can send him back in a cab. Jimmy will pay. Lisa? Sam! Where is everybody? It's going to be all right, Lisa. Yeah, I've got, I've got the money. Yeah. So, whatever happens to me, you and the kids will be all right. Yeah. Oh, I've got to keep it away from them. Yeah. We can fit you in at nine o'clock on Thursday. Nicola. Yeah, well, I'm afraid Mr. Macy's really busy. That's the only time we can manage. Oh, it'll only take a minute. Oh. Well, do you want me to look at the week of the 21st? Right, no. Thursday it is, then. Thank you. Bye. Never interrupt me when I'm on the phone. Right. Well, what do you want, then? Well, I'm going up Fish Farm now. So? To look for me dad so I could be a while. Sam, I try to be interested in your troubles, but I really don't need regular updates. No, I just thought you might want to get Elliot in. Elliot's colouring in the corner there. No. He was playing in the yard for a while, but I don't know where he's gone now. See you later. Well, I suppose it's going to be hard for you now, getting back to work after all the fun you had down there. Well, I can't say I didn't enjoy it, but it's just like a working holiday, really. Back to reality now. Yeah, I bet you'd jump out if the chance came up again. Don't worry, Mum. I know you need me on the farm. Listen, I, I did call Adam, but there's no sign of Zach on the farm. Oh, I don't know where else to look. I can't understand it. He's always been a fighter. I mean, he's beat cancer once. Why would he run away? Well, maybe he's not running. Might just need some time to think it through. See. Elliot! If you don't come out soon, I'm going to get very angry. What's up? Oh, Elliot. He's playing hide-and-seek. He sounded like you'd lost him. No, not lost, just sort of temporarily misplaced. <laughs> when did you last see him? About an hour ago. Shall I call Jimmy? No, there's no need for that. No, don't worry, uh, I'll deal with it. So? What did you want to talk to me about? Megan. We had a bit of a chat this morning. Yeah, look, I, I know that I've handled things badly, but I think that deep down she really does want to get to know him. And I think you're wrong. Yeah, well, she's my sister, so I think I might know a little bit more about that than you do. Well, maybe. But I'm the one that watched her put the detective's report and Robbie's photo in the shredder this morning. I think there's a clue there, don't you? I'm sorry, all right? I was trying to find a tactful way of putting it. 
Uh, you might as well tell me how it is. I've been a complete idiot, haven't I? Well, you thought you were helping. Yeah, well, that's it. Let's draw a line under it now. Nicola's been looking for you. Have you been crying? It doesn't matter. Everyone cries sometimes. What's wrong? If you don't tell me, I can't help you. At least let me try. I want my mummy. Oh, well, that's easy. She's outside searching for you. I don't mean Nicola. Me and my real mummy. Ah, right, well, that's a bit of a problem because she's gone away. Why didn't she take me with her? She probably realised that she couldn't look after you properly for a while. These things happen sometimes. Elliot! In here. What are you having? Um, pint of lager and one of my lunch shepherd's pipe is doing them today. Right. I thought you told Debbie you were too busy. <sighs> I am allowed a lunch break. Well, the rest of us have been out looking for your dad. What, expecting medals? No, we're expecting you to pull your weight. Now, we're all meeting up at Lisa's to work out where we're going to look next. Well, I'll stick me here to the ground, see if I hear hoofbeat, shall I? I'm not on, so. Catch up, they always do. <laughs> right, they'll never get this now. Huh? It's safe, Lisa. It's safe. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no one will ever find it there. So, any news? Not yet. But he'll be here soon. How do you know that? Has he called? Not oh, Belle, we can't give up hope. Wish it was that easy. I've had loads of texts from kids at school. Some people are saying horrible things about Dad. You mustn't listen to them. He's a good man. Yeah, it's been a fair bit of talk at the pub as well. Mm, yeah, I had to put Bob straight on a couple of things. I don't care what anyone says. I just want him found. That could be him now. It's the police. Mr Carl says that he can take over that Doncaster ramp. And that's the last of them. I can take Elliot home now. Thanks for looking after him in the meantime. Yeah, no problem. I really appreciate it. I know it's awkward for you. Did you have a lovely time up at home farm? Yes. And set Nicola lost me. What? Oh, it was just a game. Daddy doesn't want to hear about it. Oh, yes, he does. If you two are going to start another row, I'm going to go home. Getting involved in your personal affairs is definitely not part of my job description. I only took my eyes off him for a moment. I do have work to do, you know. And if you hadn't sent him over and broken your word in the first place, it wouldn't have happened. Oh, so you're blaming me now? Are you saying that you deliberately lost him to teach me a lesson? Oh, no, you're just being childish. Me childish? We'll talk about this later. Look, we're doing all we can to find him. Why aren't you out there looking for him, then? We've just got a few more questions we want to ask. They've told you everything we know. There seems to be some confusion about Mr Dingle's medical condition. What do you mean? You told us your husband's suffering from cancer. That's right. As part of our inquiries, we checked with your doctor and the hospital. We thought he might be in urgent need of medication. That wasn't the case. Well, must be. He's dying. Not according to the information we've been given. I don't understand. Are you saying he's been lying? 
It's not for me to say. Look, I'm just giving you the facts as we know them. Look, I was hoping you'd be able to shed some light on this matter, but I can see that's clearly not the case. Sorry to have troubled you. Rest assured, we'll be in touch as soon as we find anything else out. Thank you. What's going on? I wish I knew. Hold on. Why would he say that he's dying if he's not? He must be trying to hide somewhere. But it's got to be pretty bad to make up a lie like that. You think he's in trouble? Wouldn't be the first time, would it? <sighs> Why didn't he come to me? Why couldn't he tell me what was going on? Because he doesn't care about any of us. Can't you see? We've all been running after him thinking he was dying and it was all just a bunch of lies. He's been laughing at us. Well, if that's how he wants to be, I hope he never comes back. I never want to see him again. If I don't do this, my dad's either going to go on the run or end up face down in a ditch. Either way, I lose it. Tina's begging Tommy not to go through with the plan and the police are questioning Eileen a fraught time on the street at nine. <laughs>